Hey guys, welcome back to another video and another unboxing. So, oh, you guys know I freaking love unboxings. I found this brand called Wolf in Time and they have a box called the Luna Lux box. Oh, you guys, you know I had to get it. You know I had to try it out because like, I can't not try out the Luna Lux box. Like that's me, that's my box. <laughs> So I hope you guys are excited. I don't know if you guys have heard of this brand, but they're really cool. They have a ton of different tiers and like types of things they do, which I love. Um, and it's all pretty affordable. And this is the higher like tier one. I want to say it's like $70. I'll put over here how much it is, um, but it is like the top tier and it kind of surrounds like working with the moon and femininity and whatnot and like all the good stuff. So they do have a masculine based box and then I think they just have like a smaller version of this, um, which is just called, I think it's just called the Wolf in Time box. But anyway, I wanted to do a little unboxing with you guys today. So um, yeah, like I said, I'll leave the information over here and if you guys are ready, let's just go ahead and do it. So this is the box. It's not quite uh, telling, like it's, I know some people are in the broom closet or scared of their boxes being like, I'm a witch on the box, you know what I, you know what I mean? I don't mind that, um, but, so it does say Wolf in Time Luna Lux box, but that's all it says on it. Opening it up. So dramatic. Okay, you guys. What? The sacred breath is the theme. Oh, there's a butterfly sticker. This is cute, it almost just fell off. There is this little butterfly sticker. Okay, I don't even know if I can show you guys. This is so tiny and delicate. It's this little butterfly sticker. It's so cute. Aw. I've been getting so many stickers and I'm so into it. I'm like, I'm becoming a sticker girl. Okay, and then it has sacred breath meditation ritual card and it kind of just has a guided meditation. It tells you what you need, tells you what the ritual is. Um, that is really cool. I've not seen, um, like with my witch box uk that was the first box that i ever got that had like rituals within it and i thought that was so amazing and that's kind of the vibe i'm getting with this obviously it is a meditation ritual so i mean same thing um super exciting and the theme like i said is sacred breath so i'm excited because i don't think i don't do a whole lot of like breath work um bre breath work meditations and just like breath work in general i don't really you know, I know it's re like good and important and lots of people do it, but it's something that I've not focused on. So I'm really excited that I feel like the past couple of boxes I've gotten from different places have all like really been pushing me outside like my typical zone. And I'm very thankful for that. Um, and then there's another paper and it says sacred breath wind ring. Oh, so they're probably going to give you, I don't know, they might, but they might not give you like the, uh, the things you need for this. This is a wind ring. I don't know if I know, I don't know if I've ever like done a wind ring before. I don't know, it might be like a common practice, but I've never done one. So that's pretty cool. That's really, really exciting. So, and it has like a whole like how to do it thing. So you get a meditation ritual and like an activity ritual. That is really cool. Aw, this is so pretty. I know that they include their original artwork. That is so cute. Oh my God, I've been getting so much art. I love this. That is so pretty. Let me put these over here because like, I don't want to mess those up. Um, I'm going to grab this because I have a feeling. I have a feeling this cute little scroll. Again, butterfly sticker um, might tell us. What's going on? Because we don't know, we haven't got a like card to say what's happening yet. Okay, this is it. I love that they put that in a scroll. Again, this and the Witch Box UK are the only two boxes that have included scrolls and I love scrolls. Okay, so I'm gonna read it. It says, Sacred Breath is the theme for the Luna Lux box this month, bringing you the magic of a warm summer breeze. The breath of the universe and the wind of the storm. We will bring you closer into your own breath with meditation, teach you new ways to work with the elements and help you create ways to capture the power of air. That is so exciting. I really don't feel like I'm that connected to air um, in general as like elements. And then this tells you everything you get. That is so crazy. 
that's a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna keep that on standby over here because I wanna reference that. So first thing, I don't know what this is. <laughs> Let me peek really quick. Okay, I think this is the tapestry. A whole ass tapestry, y'all. It says sacred breeze, moon tapestry, soft and bright. Your new moon cloth can be used hanging up on your wall, draped on your altar, or as a meditation rug. It is used in the included ritual for your focus point and has the energy of summer flowers, a bright starry night, the abundance of the super moon, and the breeze as you can see the dandelion seeds and leaves blowing across the moon's beautiful face. Let's, let's pop this open. I love tapestries. Okay. I've never felt a soft tapestry before. This is really soft. Let's see you get like hanging equipment. This is like actually really soft. Oh, you guys, this is really cute. I don't know if you can really see. It's not very big, which I actually really appreciate. So I don't have a whole huge space. Can you see that? It is really so pretty. Wow. And like I said, backside feels like a normal tapestry, but the front is really soft. So I might end up using this as like a meditation rug, like they said, because I don't have one. And one of the books I'm reading talks about having a specific like meditation blanket or rug that kind of helps just like your body get in touch with that, like before you start. Um, so that is so cool. Oh my God. That is so adorable. I love that. Okay, next thing, I'm just going to grab this. And I bet this is the the ring thing, the wind ring. You guys remember me talking about that? So you get this little pouch and, well, first let me read what it says, actually. Uh, In your canvas bag are all the parts to make the included DIY kit for a wind ring. The instruction page is included so you can see how to make it step by step with all of the following essentials. Three ivory satin ribbons, three gold ribbons, green leaf ribbon, gold ring, and raw hemp string. So, whoop, gold ring. Nice, feels good. Aw, can you see that? It's cute, I didn't know that was a thing that people made, I love that. Got the ivory string, ooh, many of them. The gold string and the hemp string is in there as well. I'm gonna put that all back in there because I really feel like my cats are gonna get a hold of this and destroy it. <laughs> That's exciting. I love the little leafy ribbon. Like I said, I've never seen a ribbon like that before. So that is super cool. Really into that. Aw, That's really exciting. Like I said, I've never made a wind ring. I've never heard of them. So I'm pretty pumped for that. Next up is this oracle card, and it is the connection card. So I think that they intuitively pick one for you, which I think is really cool. I don't know if they're going to include, like, a... If it's all, like, kind of interpretation or if there's, like, a meaning, because, like, it just says connection. Um, it says, Messages from the Light Meditation Oracle Deck by Joyce Huntington. Your intuitively drawn card is from the messages from the Light Meditation deck by Joyce Huntington. With 52 cards and a full guidebook, this deck brings you visionary insight into your path, helps you illuminate ordinary things in life, and helps you with connecting past, connecting past the surface and beyond the conscious mind. Bring it into your meditation ritual, place it on your altar, in your grimoire, or journal to reflect upon its meaning to you. Cute. I'll have to look up, um, I feel like I can pretty well interpret that. It's pretty chill, but I might look up the deck and see if there's like an alternative meaning, just in case I'm missing something. Um, next thing, this is really sick. I don't know if you guys be able to see that. They, it's like a design on it. It's like, it looks, it kind of reminds me of like embroidered stuff on like ivory colored things. Ooh, these are instant sticks, Let's see? Alderwood Japanese incense sticks. Ooh. Let's smell it. 
That smelled real good. That smelled real good. And that's a really cute case. Um, it says, Alder is a sacred tree of Celtic astrology, and the Druids associate it with the fox, the raven, and is also known as the Battle Witch in the Battle of Tree Saga. It holds the properties of charisma, protection on journeys, self-confidence, bravery, leadership, and spiritual growth. It has also been said, I'm sorry, it has also been used as a sacred incense by ancient monks and priests for centuries. It smells really good, so I understand that. That's exciting. <laughs> then you've got this pouch, and it says, it's the potpourri pouch, and it says, is either a blend of, who I don't know how to say that, helichrysum, honeysuckle and star anise, or chamomile, cinnamon sticks, and calendula. You can either burn them with a charcoal disc or you can use them without any smoke, just the aromas. That's cute. My mom used to always have potpourri in the house, so this is a bit nostalgic. That's 100% the star anise one. 100%. That's really nice. That's cute. I don't have any potpourri, so that is super, super cool. Oh, Look at this. <gasps> A little copper feather. Let me see what it says. Copper metal feather bookmark. It says this metal bookmark is in vintage copper and is just right to hold your place in your new magical book. Ah! We get a book, you guys. You can't see it. I don't. It must be at the very bottom. But um, <laughs> the feather can represent any bird that you connect to as your spirit guide, totem animal, or familiar. Birds have always been seen as the messengers from or to the gods and connect us to the sky. Feathers are the element of air, and as you keep it in your books, remember that you are taking your knowledge to higher places of meaning. That is so cute. I literally don't have any bookmarks just because it's not something I feel like I want to purchase. Um, I just use, like, random things. Um, but this is so cute and meaningful. I'm really, really excited for this because, like I said, like, I usually just use my pen or, like, random paper or something. Aww. Ooh, okay. I'm going to save that one for last. Look at this. This is the Lotus Incense Burner. It says this unique incense burner is in the shape of the magical lotus and it has a piece for you to add any stick or use charcoal or resin. It is in vintage copper and its intricate petal cup, ooh, intricate petals cup the aromatic smoke that will bring you both smudging and aromatherapy. The lotus aids you in your spiritual growth, boosts psychic abilities, opens the chakras, and settles you into your authentic self. It offers protection, cleansing, peace, and balance with support and self-love, and bringing abundance. Use your incense burner for the included ritual or for your meditation practice. Let's best this bad boy open. <laughs> Let us see. Okay. I feel like I don't have enough hands for this, which doesn't make sense. This is so pretty. This is like really nice quality too. It is like hard and nice. I don't know what I was expecting, but I was not expecting that. This is really, really nice. And it's got, oh, guys, this is sick. It's got the lid. And I don't know what this bottom piece is, honestly, but let's see what the heck happens. I don't know what this piece is. If anyone knows, please tell me. Is this like to put in the middle to like hold a stick? I'm gonna put it inside there for now, but oh my gosh, this is so cute. This is really so freaking pretty. And like I said, really good quality. I really love that. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna put him back in his box. Okay, you guys, I think we have two more things. I'm screaming. Another crystal, you guys. You know I'm always on crystals. This is so pretty. This reminds me of my Lapidolite tower. It comes. It came in a really cute bag. I just threw it on the floor because I was so excited, but it came in this cute bag. Um, this reminds me of my Lapidolite tower, but it's not Lapidolite, and I don't know what it is. Do you guys... I'm going to check the thing in a second, but take your guesses right now because I have no clue. Take your guesses and let us see. It says premium astrophilite tower. Ooh, 
let me see. It says, ooh, this is cool. It gives you a whole breakdown. It says element storm chakras all focus self-knowledge, realization of multidimensional self, self-acceptance, forgiveness, and infusion of oneself with light. It says the premium tower of astrophyllite is a complex mineral with potassium, sodium, iron, manganese, and titanium silic silicate. It only forms in bladed crystals, which often occur in starbursts. It is a special and rare crystal that can help you communicate with celestial beings, interdimensional energies, and other civilizations from the past and into the future. It activates the entire chakra column and helps the body radiate with pure light. It can assist in getting rid of negative energy and entities attached to you and turn dark beings back to the light. It will help you accept your shadow self. Oh, they knew I was doing shadow self work. Um... With wholeness, give you hope when you are fearful of judgment and helps you find the light in the dark and the darkest corners of your soul. You will be able to reclaim your full power with this crystal and once again feel empowered and free. Such is the energy of the storm, the universe, and your higher self. Guys, that is so cool. I've never um, heard of this crystal or seen it before. And it looks really, really cool. Like it has all these little lines. That is so neat. Like I was looking at it and I was like, I know this is not obsidian. <laughs> I don't know that many black crystals though. Wow, because it, ugh, that is so cool. I love that so much, you guys. Wow, okay, last thing, you guys. Pretty sure, yes. What book do you think it is? I'm freaking excited, you guys. This is Bewitching the Elements by Gabriella Herstic. I love, okay, this is so funny because uh, Gabriella Herstic was the first witchy author I ever read. Um, her book was it Inner Magic, Inner Witch. That was the first book I ever read on witchcraft. And that was like my, when I first got into it, that was the first book I picked up. And that is like, because of that, like it's so, it's so, I don't know, precious in my heart. And I have every single one of her books except for this one. And I was literally at the bookstore, like, last week and I almost bought it because like I saw it and I was like man I should complete my Gabriella Hurstic collection but I was like no nah, now nah, you've been buying too many books recently and the universe said mm, think again sis and this is really pretty big actually I think this is her I don't know if it's her most recent one but I kind of think it is maybe it was her first one 2020 so this is her most recent one this is a guide through, I'm sorry, I can't talk today. A guide to empowering yourself through earth, air, fire, water, and spirit. Oh my God, I'm so pumped. Oh my God, I am so excited, you guys. Oh, okay. I have not yet had a book, uh, had a witchy box give me a book. Um, so this is a big moment for me. <laughs> so I am really looking forward to reading that. That is so, so exciting. Um, what'd you guys think? That is it. That's the box. I thought this was really well-rounded. Like, you get a book, a crystal, a ton of, like, aromatherapy stuff, um, a card. I don't feel like the oracle card, like, was too interesting. Like, I thought it was really cool. But I am just, like, overwhelmed by, like, the other stuff. Like, the tapestry, the book, like I said, the... I mean, I guess it is air element, so I guess the incenses make sense. The, the incense and the potpourri and the incense burner. And the rituals, though, that is so cool. And then, like, the activity, I think that is so fun. I really like this. This is so cool. Like, I really, I think, like, as a witch with, like, pretty severe depression sometimes, having boxes that just, like, hand me rituals and are like, do this, it's really good. Because I know that I can, like, get really like caught up and then I just like don't do as many rituals and things as I want to just because the energy is hard to you know transfer get up conjure is what I'm trying to say but you know what I mean so that is really that makes me really happy so this is so cool I'm really really so into this <laughs> um yeah let me know what you guys think I'm really interested to hear what you guys have to say if you have this box if not if you're gonna get it um, if I should get it again, like, let me know. Um, I'm looking forward to it. But yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. I really did. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye!